What's up, Wolfbag fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Hope you're doing well. We're going to be checking out some uh, TV's naughtiest blunders, courtesy of S. Webster. Shout out to you, homie. I appreciate you. So we are going to be switching screens, and yeah, let's go check this out. And it better be damn funny. What's that, what's that? F. And a vowel? Hey. Consonant. R. Consonant. <laughs> 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 it look like you farted. <laughs> that stays in. <laughs> yeah. I agree. It stays in that. We're not editing in. that out. Carry on, folks. Let's carry on. Please, Carol. Oh, well. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. That's Mike. He's going down before me because it's all aboard for the Skylark, or in this case, the North Coast Explorer, because we're going to take a trip to Stroma. <laughs> oh, my giddy aunt. <laughs> okay. Don't you there? Oh, my God. Let's <laughs> 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 have a bleep. <laughs> the accident happened north of Calcutta, near India's border with Bangladesh. The boat was ferrying 70 people from Nirmalchar to Kathibari when it caught, was caught in a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. The hinges on the other side, so if we kept the mechanics pretty much on the other side. Right. So you prefer me to screw from behind? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Not too oh, bad. We barely fried. I'm going to keep the overalls on for the time being. <laughs> oh, dear, I've come out with all of the floors. Wait, I think Em's just going to get these guys to be still for a tick. Oh, <laughs> You naughty boy. That was... Oh, I feel like I'm getting sick now. <laughs> no, just... <laughs> What sort of books does your mommy read? Romance books. <laughs> and who does she read them to? Nobody. She just reads them to herself. And can you think of any of the titles that she would have? Do they sit by her bed? I saw one, and it was like... Careful now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I don't know the title, but I do know what the picture was. <laughs> That's what I'm slightly worried about. But anyway, <laughs> describe the picture to me. Men having their um, shirts and their ties open, and then there's these women having sex with them. Whoa, mama! <laughs> Stevie. <laughs> now, some news. And do you keep a near your pillow or a doggy under your duvet. Do you do that, girls? No? <laughs> right, You've lost it this afternoon, haven't you? Anyway, uh, let's be serious for a second if we can. If so, if you allow your cat or dog uh, into your bedroom, your health uh, may be uh, at risk. Or could it? According to new research in Central and South America, keeping dogs out of the bedroom could reduce the risk of a deadly disease called Around a quarter of the population oh, in rural areas is in uh, danger of contracting the uh, disease. No such uh, dangers here, though. <laughs> Just how safe is it to keep your cats and dogs in your bedroom? Uh, do they pose a health risk, or are oh, they... Keep going. <laughs> or are they... <laughs> Our number four moment is the pottery wheel with Rachel. Now, um, From the lads the always, always, always oh. get very excited if Rachel or S Club 7 ever come on the show. She's oh. known as the lovely Rachel oh. among their closest friends. And, uh, this was one moment that I know, in particular, sticks with Declo. <laughs> Got a stiffy now. <laughs> Whoa! Declo. <laughs> yes, I can, Bob. Then we'll begin. For a total prize of three thousand two hundred pounds, I'm going to ask you a five-part question, which will require five correct answers. Should you wish to? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
if you do, we can take you out of there just to... Uh... You may recognize the glamorous golfer out to tee off in this pro celebrity match. Yep, yeah, it's supermodel and actress Cindy Crawford. And as you can see, she's drawn quite a crowd. Oh! oh. Cindy fucking Crawford! Deborah, of course. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> My voice. <boys. laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Gary, Tony. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love him. I know, I know, you can. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> hey, you got a snack and a drink. You know, I've had a bit too much. I think you need a couple of minutes break. But don't go anywhere, because coming up, I'll be speaking to the band No Jehoda, and you better have your tissues at the ready, because we're bringing you Sour Tune and Quality Yanks. So go on. <laughs> that? Oh. And Rich is going to be back next week with more handy gadgets. Fantastic. OK, now there's another chance to see Leslie Waters with her top tits. <laughs> top tits. <laughs> Let's go! She has got very nice breasts. Top tits. <laughs> <laughs> that breasts on the mind. I'll see you when I get back from London. From London. <laughs> you <laughs> Didn't say <laughs> wank it. <laughs> Personal bus. <laughs> Jeez, I've had it hand painted, <laughs> and uh, I'd like you all to join me. There you go, get a shot. <laughs> Hollywood heartthrob Leonardo DiCaprio has been hounded by Planet Hollywood to become part of its famous marketing team, along with the likes of Bruce Willis and Arnold Schwarzenegger. But the young star simply not interested. It would seem that it's no longer fashionable to become Dick. <laughs> what the fuck? And more what embarrassingly, they it's been advertised in the town's official guides for tourists for some girl. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of all this today? <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Are you looking after your owner? <laughs> Here's one that talks about it opening in late summer 99. Here's another that... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and more embarrassingly, it's been advertised in all of the resorts to official... Oh, <laughs> I slipped with the wrong... Band, ...except that some housing has to be built. They argue that 7,000 properties is tantamount to the sun going in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get it? Crazy. <laughs> wow. Holy doggy. I think I can probably skip it all the way up to that. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Impress me. <laughs> <laughs> She's impressed. Right, come here, come here. <laughs> Holy shit. The gloss certainly went off Ukrainian Denis Yurchenko's games. This descent catching the pole where it hurts the most. Just join us by the news. Oh. I think I need to just stay by myself for a little bit. Okay. I'll put you, I'll put you down? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Everything's fine? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Everything's okay. Yeah. All right? All right. I'm All just right. going to go now. Okay, that's okay. Thanks, Tony. See you, see you. It's cool. I am not. I got ya. I got ya. Oh shit. Oh my god. 
Till you spend two weeks living with an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> no, he's eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seems to prefer peers to me, especially the women, and I don't know why. Did you see how he dealt with that flood the other day? Yeah, he entered the water doing a double pike with twist, rescued everybody in sight, and then sang a medley of Andrew Lloyd Webber songs. <laughs> Great, huh? No, he's and just a big. Stop there. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye. Good evening. And welcome to another edition of Bullseye. I'd like to say to the director, stick the show up your ass. I'm sick to death of it. Thank you. <laughs> time and time again, uh, we've got a group of the finest police officers anywhere in the world. And uh, again, they proved themselves tonight. No one was injured. And, uh, and the uh, hostage situation came to How a successful coup. Give us a clue about negotiations. Oh, well. Hey! 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 I'm going down. I saved her honesty, man. Okay, don't worry. We're pumping it up and down. Someone down. ein bisschen durchgelüftet und wir schauen Whoa! I should have listened <laughs> And so to shut off we were hey, on the wing we were on the other wing we were can you, can you sum we're up yeah. can you sum up how we were without swearing absolutely right. absolutely <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll have a much tougher loss than that in overtime, seventh game, going in the finals, boys. What more can happen? What more can happen? I'm telling you. How about a prediction on the final? It's like asking me what I want, Sif or Gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> When's it going to end? I know how Williams feels now. I guess a fellow like Rick Middleton really wanted to play badly against the Rangers. Yeah, well... You'd have been playing the Rangers. Yeah, if my aunt had nuts, she'd be my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> That's random. <laughs> funny. Yeah, these are great, ladies and gentlemen. There was a lot of funny ones. All right, hold on a second. Yeah, just so we have something here on the screen. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, 
Well, while, while we're here clicking here, what what did these guys do so wrong here? I don't know. I didn't pick up on it because he just waved. I, I mean, she's like dick. I don't know what the hell happened on that one. But, yeah, some of these were downright funny as hell. The Ant and Deck one was good. I think this one right here uh, was definitely one of my favorites here. I got I to gotta go back. I want to hear this shit again. Hold on. If it, if it fucking works. Oh, God damn it. Right. So you prefer me to screw from behind? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, guys, that screw me from behind shit, man. That shit was great. The Ant and Deck one, this was cool. That little robot shit uh, with the, do with, like, robot dog is like, I could lick, uh, you know, from here, lick my balls from here, essentially was funny there. And when he fell and he was, like, waddling and all that shit, that would be, like, probably, like, you know, I don't know if you guys seen that commercial, but it's, like, I'm falling and I can't get up. That would be, like, the fucking best. This would be, like, the spokesperson here. But there is something highly amusing when people fuck up, especially in a professional atmosphere. You're live. You're on camera. Uh, obviously, I got to have nothing but love for my boy Gary and Tony from Men Behaving Badly there. Great to see my boys, Anton Deck. Uh, that dog one with the dog race one was a shocker. Uh, um, when they said, and they have it in bold, this is your time to look away. You know, the bus one was okay with the, the, the fucker one. That was all right there. That was okay with me. But that other one with the, 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 um, well, the football, uh, I was about to say soccer guys, but we don't want to offend a lot of people here. Uh, so yeah, with the football one there, when they said, you know, this year, you know, essentially your cue, uh, you know, I'm all crazy yeah that should that should surprise the fuck out of me there disgusting i should have looked away there uh definitely not the surprise that i wanted to see um we also like the one with the lady and the guy where he's throwing the rock and shit and then he falls in that was his cue right there to pull her ass in there <laughs> but again in a professional atmosphere beyond the camera it's something of highly appealing to see essentially these these blunders, these bloopers, these fuck ups and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I've done a couple of performances where I had to do, um, you know, speech class and uh, drama class and performances and stuff where I'm being recorded and shit. And I've slipped up. And one time I was doing like a sports anchor. I was doing uh, and um, yeah, I forgot like the, the team's. And I was like, oh, shit. You know, I just, and I was like, oh, man, I failed this class and shit. I thought I failed and shit. Uh, everybody's laughing and shit. You're not supposed to be cursing. This was like in seventh grade. I'll never forget it till this day, man. But, yeah, this was great to see. Uh, my boy S. Webster did not steer us wrong. Uh, you guys can let me know your favorite one. Again, there was a lot, a lot of quality ones there. Um yeah, really. The, the, my favorites again: the the woodworking one there, the screw, you know, the screwing bit, the Anton Deck, uh, men behaving badly, essentially, uh, and the dog thing. If that dog character, or whatever it is, has some sort of a name, and we could see more of that, let me know in the comments down below because I, I haven't uh, the foggiest clue about that sort of character. But they were funny as hell. Uh, so let me know your favorite down and below. If you enjoyed it, let me know. If you hated this, uh, let me know. But I thought this was absolutely stellar so thank you s webster appreciate you homie uh you know again ladies and gentlemen please suggest things so we can make it happen don't forget to like comment subscribe man i had a blast watching this so uh that's the power of you know funny moments man and you know i'm glad that they captured this and, and we got a chance to see it uh and, and, oh yeah and i'm probably haunted i'll probably be haunted with the football one by far uh i oh man i i gotta get that out i i, I saw too much man god damn that one man that one that one got me and i didn't like that one so uh I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, and, and let me know about the lady, um, the reporter chick with the people uh, waving and shit. That one, I, I don't know what the, why she got so upset. Maybe, maybe they did something that I didn't see. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. See you guys. Peace out. Take care.